Hey guys, it's Adam AK, Swimming Bird, but today, I'm a frog. A frog with a gun. <laughs> a gun and a mission to save the world. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. This is the new indie title from Studio Pixel, the same developer that made Cave Story. It's called Caro Blaster. Let's pick up the phone and begin our awesome adventure. So we are but a humble salary frog working for Cat and Frog Incorporated. And our boss has called us into her office today. Oh, this is not good. Did we forget to file a report or something? What's going on? She is ticked. Uh-oh. Let's get out of here. I have no idea what she's saying, but she is mad. Let's just leave her alone. So this little pink blob here is another employee. The president is angry again, huh? She's kind of like a secretary. Recently, we've had nothing but trouble. And the science cat is uh, in charge of technology. Must be getting to her. So let's go. We have our mission. CNF actually manufactures teleporters. Good luck on the job. But who knows what we got to do. Let's jump in the portal and find out. What exactly is his job again? Hmm. His job? Hmm. Custodial sciences. <laughs> so we are a janitor, but even so, we have a big destiny. Let's head to stage one, Hinterland Fort. And even though we're a janitor, we're not cleaning up poo-poo or pee-pee. We are just wrecking everything in sight with our pea shooter, our gun. That's that's a P-E-A, as in the food and not pee-pee. <laughs> All right, so let's blast these flowers, the tumbleweeds, everything in our way. Oh no, we got hit already. So you can see we only have two hearts. This is kind of a tough game. And despite its uh, NES early PC graphics, it actually has a lot of depth. The enemies are cute, but deadly. We've got a bunch of different weapons that we can unlock, and the combat has a lot of depth to it. There we go, we got another heart, so we're okay for now. But this game does get very difficult. Let's blast all these little guys. It kind of reminds me of uh, of Kirby, in a way. It's a lot harder, for sure, but uh, it ha Kirby also has cute enemies that you just have to mow through, and uh, can be tough at times. There's a weird little fire flower thing shooting stuff. So yeah, we're collecting coins because we uh, we need money. The company did not give us any money for this mission. We have to collect it all on our own to upgrade our weapons. So let's get as many coins as we can. Now I mentioned CNF manufactures teleporters, but they've had some issues recently. They've fallen on hard times. The teleporters have stopped working in a lot of areas and they started spawning those weird little black soot sprite looking creatures that you saw on the title screen. So as the janitor, we have to go clean the teleporters off. We're more like a, uh, you know, hired gun to destroy everything in our path and get our way to the teleporter. We just blast it open a treasure chest. Nice coins for days. Let's grab all these. We need as much money as we can get. Like I mentioned, if we want to upgrade stuff, let's keep going. Now this is a little teleporter back to CNF. This will take us to the upgrade room. We can talk to this guy to upgrade our weapons and we're going to upgrade the pea shooter to the repeater since that's pretty cheap and it is much more powerful. There we go. I don't think we have enough money to uh, get our health up or anything. You can boost your hearts or, re or heal or get extra lives that are very overpriced. We're not going to do that. We don't have enough money. But now we have the repeater and uh, it shoots a lot farther. It's a lot more powerful. So it's definitely better in, uh, in every way. There's a bunch of different weapons in this game and I like the fact that you don't actually phase out your weapons. You want to use all of them and switch between them, which is nice. It, uh, it gives the game a lot of variety and you can, you know, have to act on your feet and quickly adapt to any situation. There's giant crazy snakes. These actually remind me of uh, Suchinoko. It's a Japanese cryptid. It's like a fat snake monster that will like bite its own tail and roll around in a loop really weird. They, uh, cryptids are like creatures like Bigfoot or the Loch Ness Monster that have never been, you know, properly accounted for. You know, don't know if they're real or not for the most part. But yeah, that's, uh, that's one of the Japanese ones. The name Caro Blaster, you know the blaster part, of course. It's because of my guns, my big old guns shooting everybody. Uh, ooh, there's a little secret you can see because I shot through there. You can just skip all those weird plant monsters. But the Caro part actually comes from the Japanese onomatopoeia for the, uh, the sound that a frog makes. We would say ribbit in the West, but yeah. So it's basically ribbit blaster. <laughs> this, I don't think the frog really has a name. None of the characters seem to have a name. They do refer to the boss as like the president, but everyone else is kind of, you know, un, un uh, accounted for in terms of names. They're all just people in the company. They don't have to say each other's names. They know who they're talking to. Let's blast all these guys. I'm a greedy little frog. I want as much money as I can. So I, I went back to kill them. Here we go. Like any good frog, I can leap pretty far. And that's going to help us because there is a bit of platforming to this game. It's similar to Cave Story in terms of combat. 
but instead of being a freeform, more Metroidvania game like Cave Story with a heavy uh, story to it, this has um, like a more loose story. It's still interesting, and there's a lot of stuff going on with it, but it's uh, it's more focused on stages. If we run out of lives, we actually can uh, oop, let's moonwalk into that. There we go. If you hold the shoot button, you can uh, you can jump backwards and move around. But yeah, uh, if we run out of lives, we have to begin the stage again, so you gotta be very careful. Uh-oh, whoa, we're getting shot at already. This is a little boss battle. It's an armored, one of those weird fire flower looking things, and he's jumping around. He almost looks like he's part robot. Okay, we gotta look out, he just landed on us there. Shoot him as much as we can, and he'll dodge his weird fireballs. Go, 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 go. So yeah, we gotta beat him if we wanna get to the teleporter. Uh-oh. I think he's ticked. Uh, everyone in this game is mad at our little frog buddy. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, jeez. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, that one almost hit me. You gotta be careful. Uh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, oh no. We only have one more hit left. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. One more good hit. There we go. We beat him. Ha-ha. And we have unlocked the second weapon in the game. This is the fan, and it's actually pretty good. Features a widespread, so it's easier to hit enemies, retains its power underwater. So this has a, uh, oh, he's so happy. I think he has a little tie on, which is cute. The fan does not shoot as far as the pea shooter or the repeater, but it, uh, it has a wider shot, like, uh, like I mentioned. Let's kill this weird little soot thing and reclaim the teleporter for CNF Industries. We're gonna get a little bit more story before we head on to the second stage. Oh my god, <laughs> the the uh, the boss is not looking so good. She's gained a lot of weight in such a short time. <laughs> she's just as mad, if not more so. Oh no. <laughs> Looks like she's talking about the uh, the soot things, the weird little creatures. <laughs> okay, let's just leave her alone. You think we would eat those fr flies, being a frog and all? Present is still in a bad mood, huh? Maybe if you finish cleaning up the transport devices, you'll cheer up. Hmm. Here, take this. Aha! Uh -huh, we got a heart jar. So this is kind of like a fairy in Zelda. It will automatically heal us if we run out of life. Aha! Uh -huh, he's so happy. All right. That's all you need for travel allowance. That's all you get. <laughs> Where's he going next? Um, next is a place with a lot of greenery. Like I mentioned, CNF is very cheap. <laughs> Not many travel expenses for the employees. Watch out for mosquitoes. All right, we will. Thank you, little pink blob. She actually has her own prologue story. This is stage two, greenery zone. Uh, there's a, a little free game that you can play called Pink Hour, and I'll probably play that after this if you guys are interested. And it's the adventure of that little pink blob trying to get some paperwork back that she lost. And it's pretty fun. It gives you a nice little introduction to how this game works. Ugh. Despite being a frog, we can't swim very well, so we're going to try to stick to these logs and destroy adorable fish. See, so yeah, like I mentioned, the weapons are situational, so I'm going to switch back to the repeater here. And I can shoot that weird dragon plant from pretty far away. The wave does not, uh, the fan does not have a very good, you know, range to it, but it can be good if we have multiple enemies around and we want to block more stuff. Let's go under here and try to kill these fish. I'm trying to kill everything just because we want to get as many coins as possible. There we go. <laughs> I love how shocked he looks when you kill him. There's an evil slug snail thing. Let's jump to it. Whoa, jeez. Oh, ah, he got me. He snuck attacked me from the top. I'm going to jump up this plant. We got a treasure chest. Ah, purple parrots. What is this? Legends in the Hidden Temple? Oh, jeez. No! <laughs> my big my big coins. Jumping off the side. Trying to not let me collect them. Whoa. There we go. I wanted to see what was below us. Yeah, we got the nice range of the repeater to kill these weird dragon flowers on the, the wall there. So I mentioned Cave Story. This game, uh, this game was developed by Studio Pixel, but mainly by one man, Pixel. He's, uh, that's his handle, but his name is uh, Daisuke Amaya, and he did almost everything in this game. He did, uh, in Cave Story, he did everything on his own, but in this, he's done graphics. Ooh, there we go, that heart's healing us. Thank goodness we got that heart jar. Uh, in this game, he did graphics, he did sound, he did character design, music, programming, a bunch of stuff. And another developer, Kyoko Kawanaka, she actually did like level design and stuff and stuff like that. So he had a little bit of help, but uh, that's that's why this game took a little bit less to come out than Cave Story took five years to develop. It was crazy. It was like a side project for him. But he uh, he's just a fan of developing games on his own, even though they take a long time to make. And he likes, you know, having a very nice working game that, you know, has really good game feel to it despite having a retro style to it. Let's jump back in here. It looks like these plants are getting messed up. Can we upgrade a weapon? Let's see. 
Uh, we can't get the laser. That's 500. That's super expensive. Let's upgrade the fan to the wide shot. There we go. And I don't know if we have enough. Yeah, we do. Let's boost our heart by one more. Definitely having a little more life would be very helpful. That coat hanger on the side is actually important. It seems just like a little detail added, but it actually has a use. These little bees or cicadas, I can't tell. I think they're bees. They kind of look like cicadas. This is a Japanese game, so I almost assume that cicadas are in here somewhere, because they're always used in Japanese games and different stuff. Ugh, there's a weird one-eyed swamp monster. Get out of here. He's just running at me. I don't know if he could even tell where I was. He's only got one eye, so his, you know, his depth perception is probably not great. Oh, just a little moon jump there. Blam, blam, blam. Yeah, the wide shot is very nice. Let's grab all these coins. We're gonna have to get a ton if we wanna, <laughs> we wanna unlock some of the other weapon upgrades. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Purple parrots come out of everywhere to attack us. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you have to have really quick reaction speed for this game at times because stuff is just flying at you. It gets way, way tougher. Believe me, guys. Ugh. But yeah, I'm, I'm glad that you guys joined me and are checking this game out with me. I do appreciate it. Whoa, cute little guys. Aw. Yeah, I feel bad killing a lot of these enemies. Just like Kirby, I mentioned that, but uh, it has that same feeling of the enemies being adorable and you don't want to kill them sometimes, but you gotta. You gotta make your way through the horde of enemies. So yeah, if you guys are enjoying this and want to see more, definitely leave a like. It helps me out and lets me know that you guys are having fun watching. Whoa, I almost got hit there. <laughs> but we landed right behind it. Treasure! Uh-oh. No! <laughs> These little blob guys are eating the bridge. Okay, we gotta fight them. Ah, uh, we're like in their den. The den of the weird mud monsters. This, I think we're like really small compared to this world because look how big those leaves are in the background. It's crazy. Kill all the mud monsters. Oh no, we did fall into their home, but it's their fault. They trapped us. Uh-oh. Whoa, it's Mama Mud Monster. <laughs> Say that five times fast. She looks like a cow slug or something. Oh, jeez. Look out. Okay. Yeah, she comes up wherever you are. Hit her. I should probably switch to the repeater. I don't think I really need the huge fan on this one. There we go. Do some more damage, I think. Hit her, hit her, hit her. I'm going to try to stay near the edge, and then, uh-oh. I'm going to jump over her. Oh, jeez. Yeah. I want to stay in a spot where she'll uh, come up on the edge, and then I have a lot of time to shoot her. There we go. Get her, get her, get her. Ha ha ha. There we go. Much better. Okay, jump back. There she goes. Oh, no. Well, at least we have an extra hit. Should be okay. A couple more hits, and she'll be dead. Oh, jeez. No, we're back to the corner. Kill her. There we go. <laughs> I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. It looked like a mama. Here we go. Our third weapon. This is the bubble. And this one's very useful for the water. These bullets roll forward for a long distance, and they also are buoyant, so they float on water. So yeah, it's really good for shooting downwards, and if you shoot in the water, they bounce along so they can hit stuff along it too, as you can see. So yeah, if, you, if you're up on a high area and you want to shoot down, they'll bounce down. It's a very nice little gun. Not quite as powerful as some of the other ones, but it is useful. Like I said, you want to switch between them. Treasure! Nope, it's one of those weird little guys. Kill him, kill him, kill him! Haha. -ha. He only had one coin in him. He must have eaten the treasure. Oh, jeez. <laughs> we fell down. See how that treasure chest was all a ruse, but at least we made our way to the end of our mission. Here's the teleporter. I'm going to use my bubble to blast these little guys off of here. There we go. The ones in the background, we just kind of leave. I guess we're not very thorough, but we're probably not paid that much either. Let's get a little more story. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> The president is not looking so great. Ugh, and her little creature behind her is growing too. Hmm, mysterious. She is talking about these little things. Okay, we're just gonna go. See you later. She's got so many flies on her. The president really is messed up, huh? Is the cleanup not going well? Hmm, no, it's all on schedule. I see. All right, so next time we're gonna head on to the next stage. Two more areas left in the quota. Thank you guys for watching. Again, please leave a like if you enjoyed this and you want to see more. Don't bring us anything back. <laughs> I won't bring any creepy creatures home. Next time, we are going to head on to Ox Ox Hotel. See you then.